the interesting thing is the composition of what you know if it if it did collide then what would happen to it um the spectra look like these stony type asteroids so maybe more like an airburst and that's what happened with tunguska so it could end up it's like a you know a stony type asteroid exactly like tunguska um similar type of size and so it would cause an uh, an airburst but that would still be quite devastating uh right Terry? that that would still cause quite localized uh, devastation maybe over an area of um 30 kilometers across or so 30 50 to 50 kilometers so if it did hit an inhabited area if it did hit the earth and it did collide with an inhabited area it is quite devastating um and we would have to take action i, I think personally my, the most likely is evacuation is the is probably the best mitigation uh, strategy for this type of event i mean this was what uh, the atlas uh, survey was de was designed to do uh, to find any fast moving small asteroids that might be on a collision course with the earth and you didn't have enough time to do anything else other than evacuate um because as Tarek said, these other big asteroids, which are which might be, you know, a, propose a threat to humanity, are completely different to this type of, you know, small fifty meter fifty meter type of object. Uh, and we know most of the the locations of all of these kilometer size, few kilometer size objects that might do uh, serious global damage.